What's going on? All you most amazing top tenors, welcome back. My name's Danny Burke, Instagram down there, and this is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all over the world and turn them into a nice little top 10 list so you guys don't have to. And today, we've got the top 10 predictions for the future. They say the past is history and tomorrow's a mystery, but some people just aren't happy with that. And they wanna find out what the world is gonna look like in five, 10, maybe 100 years from now. Well, thankfully, there are people out there who claim to know where the human race is heading. Are they crazy or are they onto something? There's only one way to find out, guys. Let's jump into this like we always do with our number 10, and we're gonna talk about space elevators. Some scientists think that the future of getting into space might not be by using traditional rockets and tons of fuel, but by simply taking an elevator up there. This would involve a machine crawling up a huge and almost unimaginably strong cable until it was no longer under the influence of Earth's gravity. For many, it's pure science fiction, but for others, such as the Lithport Group, developing the space elevator is actually their day job. They believe recent advances in materials, such as nanotubes, mean it will one day be possible to build a structure that's strong enough, flexible enough, and light enough to allow machines to crawl out beyond the atmosphere and carry everything for cheap, from cargo to tourists, without a single rocket in sight. Okay guys, it might sound a little bit out there, but hey, they used to say that landing on the moon sounds crazy, and as my grandma says, anything's possible, dear. But for now, we're moving on to number nine, and let's talk about weather control. Ever since the first prayer or rain dance, humans have been trying to control the weather to suit our needs. California has been using techniques such as cloud seeding to stimulate clouds with particles to try and make it rain for more than 50 years. In 2008, the Chinese government fired 1,100 rockets into the sky to release chemicals that would stop clouds from raining on the opening ceremony for the Beijing Olympics. This has led many individuals, groups, and countries around the world to conduct their own research research in the belief that humans will one day be able to master the science of weather modification. The benefits of this would range from little things like stopping a rainy day from ruining an event, to being able to prevent hurricanes and storms before they even start at all. Personally, I think someone's already been tinkering with the weather in England because, come on, it can't rain that much. Just, just stop, come on. At number eight, linguists predict that by the year 2115, many languages being spoken right this second will be completely dead. Today, there are over 7,000 different languages, but 100 years from now, 90% of these will be gone. As society becomes more globalized and interconnected, dominant languages will appear where once there were many different tongues. These are likely to be English, Spanish, and Chinese Mandarin. Other languages, such as Arabic and Hindi and even French, are expected to see a surge in native speakers thanks to a booming population growth in the countries where they are spoken. Well, as for English, it won't be the number one most spoken language in the world, but it will continue to grow as non-native speakers use it as a common tongue to communicate with each other. I'm pretty happy to hear that as I don't know any Chinese and I've forgotten most of my high school French. C'est très terrible. At number seven now, it's being predicted that the future will see mass extinctions of animals like nothing we've seen before. A scientific study suggested that the Earth is losing 11,000 to 58,000 species to extinction every single year, and points the finger of blame at human pollution, deforestation, and expanding habitats. Some even go so far as to say that we may be entering a new mass extinction to rival the devastating ones of the past. It's thought that if the current trend continues, we could see extinctions at the same rate as the one that killed the dinosaurs in just 250 years from now. And that one was caused by a massive asteroid that was 300 miles across. So yeah, humans can be pretty scary. On to number six, technology experts predict that the future will see internet connection for every human alive. Right now, there's 7.4 billion people on the planet, but only 3.3 billion of those, including you watching this, have any sort of access to the internet. It won't stay this way forever though. Companies such as Facebook, Google, and SpaceX have been launching their own initiatives to connect everyone online for the first time in history. It's predicted that by the year 2025, all 8 billion people on planet Earth will have access to the internet. So if you're watching this from the year 2025, I hope I got some of these right. Halfway through now, guys, at number five, it's predicted by some people that driverless cars will hit the market as soon as 2020. Five years later, in 2025, the driverless car will be commonly used around the world. And five years after that, in 2030, the average American adult will spend 40% of their time in driverless cars. It's thought that a driverless car will become such a part of society that government 
governments might even require it as a safety feature. If your car doesn't have an automated system, it will be seen as at best old fashioned and at worst a danger to you and other road users. If you guys aren't adults already, then you probably will be by 2030, so it could be you guys watching this right now that will be driving driverless cars or or not driving. Can you call it driving? I don't know. When you guys get one, let me know. At number four, human life expectancy has been growing for well over a hundred years now, and it's not expected to slow down in the future. For every year that passes from now on, the average American is expected to live three months longer. By 2050, the average person will be expected to live to 88 years old, and by 2100, some people predict that that might even reach 100 years old. Advancements in medicine, sanitation, diet, and education are just some of the factors that lead people to foresee a future where the old just keep getting older. I don't know guys, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Do you think that's kind of awesome that everyone's going to be living for so long or is there something a little bit unnatural about it? Let me know in the comments below. On to number three, and it's been predicted that by the year 2100, humans won't be getting their energy the same way we do today. The vast majority of our energy will be obtained from renewable sources such as wind or solar. The old fossil fuels that we burn to power our society in modern times will be replaced with cleaner and cheaper sources. Who knew that, that insanely large burning ball of energy in the sky could be used to get all of our energy? I did not see that one coming. At number two, nanotechnology is the future. It's the manipulation of matter on the nanoscale, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. It's been the stuff of science fiction for a while now, but researchers are confident that it will be an integral part of our society in the near future. Nanorobots could be injected into the bloodstream of sick people to instantly cure any diseases, and some claim that once the technology is perfected, every virus or disease, including cancer, will be easily cured. These tiny nanorobots nanites are predicted to be used in every part of our lives, such as microscopic cameras for security. So aside from all that amazing stuff such as curing cancer, nanobots can also be put into your food to literally change it into whatever else you want. It sounds like a bright future for fussy eaters. Alright guys, coming in now at number one, the National Intelligence Council is a US government agency whose job it is to peer into the future and try and spot global trends before they happen. One of their biggest predictions at the moment is humans entering what is being called the transhuman era. As we begin to use more prosthetics, implants and technology in our bodies, the NIC predicts that humans can and will become bionic in a very real sense of the word. New machine limbs will perform better than the ones people are born with, blurring the lines between humans and machines. Brain implants will allow the brain to perform much, much faster and super strong exoskeletons will become commonplace in soldiers. The transhuman era will bring humans and technology together in a way that will make them look like like superheroes to us, and it's predicted that this will start happening as early as 2030. Personally, I can't lie, I love the idea of being able to access any information instantly with my mind, or being like super strong or super fast. But at the same time, guys, would that mean we're losing a part of what makes us truly human? It could be a scary future, it could be a fascinating future, and it could be anything in between. It's anybody's guess. So let me know your predictions in the comments below, guys, about what you think the future has in hold for us, because that's all we got time for in this episode of Most Amazing Top 10. If you haven't subscribed already, then what are you doing? Hit that button so you can stay up to date with our daily videos on this channel. There's two of them floating over there right now. Keep the suggestions coming for future videos. Thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 10 guys. My name is Danny Berg, Instagram's down there, and I'll see you guys soon.